grafting in class. This is a uh, ENG 115 Introduction to Nigerian Literature 1 Pros. I, Idris Mama Lada, and Miss Patient Bins Ayakubo will be taking the course. Uh, this course introduces you to the development of Nigerian literature from the beginning. Uh, what, we are going, what we are going to look at in this course, in one, we are going to look at rise of written literature. Under it, uh, under it we have transition from Orecho, market literature, nationalist literature. Item number two, we are going to uh, anti-colonial Nigerian literature. Under this item, we are going to look at anti-colonialism in Nigerian literature, types of anti-colonial literature in Nigeria, anti-colonial prose. Item number three, we are going to look at major trends in types of Nigerian literature. Under these trends, we are going to look at Nigerian literatures in Nigerian society, Nigerian history and literature, traditional militarism, war, gender issues in Nigerian literature and others. Now we are going to look at the reading list. One, we have Pamoin Dream Card by Amos Chuchola. We are going to look at Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. We are going to look at Who is Pass of Distant Drums by Tehem Bashija. Also, I'm going to look at Hop in Anarchy by Kyuka Lilimjok. We'll also look at Footprints by Abubakari Gimba. We have Invisible Borders by Zainab Alkali and Concubine by Elechi Amadi. Now, on the Palm Wine Drinker, as the first text to look at, we are going to look at the text as a as an oral literature tra translated into written form. We are going to look at magical realism under the text. We are going to look at theme of determination. We are going to look at theme of supernatural power. We are going to look at theme of love. We are going to look at theme of uh, superstitious belief. And we are also going to look at theme of deceit. Uh, the text generally is a translation of oral literature into written form because before the colonial period, there was no written literature. So with the introduction of Western education, some of the elites were privileged to attend this school. And through that, Emma Sutala, one of the earliest writers of that time, put in Pamoin Dream Card. And uh, though it's one text, but it's a collection of all stories now put in the text. Now, the B part of it is translation of literature into written literature. Now, we also relate the themes of the texts to the present society because in literature, you don't just read the text, but you have to interpret and relate the context to the present society. Then, the uh, under the next text, we are going to look at things fall apart by Chino Achebe, as I said earlier. The text explores two experiences of the life of the Igbo society of the eastern part of Nigeria. Achebe presents to us the life of Igbo society before the coming of the white man and with the arrival of the white man. With the arrival of the white man, uh, so the, arri uh, the arrival of white man introduced new life and culture 
that created crack and disunity in the land because there was division of interests. Some tried to maintain their traditional way of life while some of the members of the society opted for the new life, new culture, new experience introduced by the white man. The themes in the text include religious belief, clash of culture, superstitious belief, disunity, sacrifice, conflict, stroke, crisis. Either mono themes as explored in the text will also be discussed. Other discussions, other discussions include comparing the two life situations in the land. Also, we are going to look at characterization in the texts. The next text of discussion is Whispers of Distant Drums by Tehem Bashija. The text examines the menace of politics as explored in the texts. It also depicts how the people suffer from empty promises by politicians seeking for positions whose promises were deceit, corrupt, hatred, treason, terrorism, murder, and other attendant vices. The thematic concern in the texts include ethno-political crisis, theme of corruption, theme of deceit, theme of rivalry, theme of insecurity, theme of class status, theme of rumor and others. The discussion will further look at how youth were used or are used as political talks to create disharmony, to create crisis just for the interest of the few politicians. The next is Hop in Anarchy by Kyoka Lilimjok. This text expresses the post-colonial experience of Nigeria characterized by betrayal and failure by our emerging leaders after the departure of the colonial masters. Kyuka tried to present to us how, despite the high hope and expectations by the electorates or the subjects from their leaders who promises having an art for them when voted into power. But at the end of the day, all hopes and uh, expectations are dashed because the leaders after emerging to the positions failed to fulfill the promises some of the texts some of the themes we are going to look at in the text include theme of betrayal theme of corruption theme of insecurity theme of class status theme of uh, of love other things as, as explored in the text will be discussed. But the most important thing is we look at the major issues that Kyoka tried to present to us. Before the, when the white man came to Nigeria, uh, arrived in Nigeria, they were ruling us by the elites we are not comfortable with the system of leadership by the white man. They conclude that the white man was given a lip service and engaged in exploiting our resources, body human and 
natural resources. So, as a literary writer, Kuka present to us the situation, the subjects, or the politicians, sorry, the uh, uh, electorate, found themselves after welcoming the political leaders into position and with the departure of the colonial masters. Also, as usual, literature is a living, is a dynamic, is a living issue because what transpired right from the beginning, from the inception of independent leadership, I see when Nigeria gained its independence and our indigenous elite took over power, the experience is still the same. The hope and expectations by the electorate has never been realized. Then, footprints by Abuba Karigemba. Abuba Karigemba he is one of the rising writers who rise to ex uh, portray and explore leadership, governance, uh, go uh, leadership, governance, and social commitment in our society. Almost all his texts explore leadership failure morality failure and other attendant services that are reflective in our society today. So footprints depict the political experience and leaders' expectations among their people. Over Karigimba anchors the high expectations of the members of the society on their leaders using family characters. Some of the thematic concerns in the text include theme of agitation stroke advocacy using the class monitor who advocated when uh, for the rights of the students when he observed that uh, some of the teachers are not given what is expected of them. We also have theme of love, we have theme of deception, we have theme of determination, we have theme of isolation, we have theme of quest for power. Other themes as explored in the text by Oba Karigimba can also be discussed. The discussion further reflects on the social political situation in our African society because the text is a reflective of what is happening in our African leaders where like other texts much was expected of them whereas not forth come out uh, the Nigerian literature covers both the two uh, genders we have Zainab Al-Kali with her Invisible Borders. That is the next is Invisible Borders by Zainab Al-Kali. The text explores woman advocacy and experience of life, especially in the Northern Axis. Al-Kali depicts the woman experience of forced love, that's marriage, especially in the Northern uh, part of Nigeria where you find female child getting married at the underage status also denial of education engaged in extensive house calls or domestic responsibilities maltreatment of wives by their husbands 
and other related issues. The thematic concern in the text include also team of law, team of maltreatment, team of betrayal, team of determination, team of sacrifice. Other themes as captured in the text shall also be discussed. The discussion will further extend to relate the textual context to the present state of women advocacy in our society. Still, in some parts of Nigeria, though with the advocacy with the writing by literary writers and other social advocates, women have started getting relief of their traditional problems. Also look at that. The next title, uh, the next text is Joys of Motherhood by Buchi and Mecheta. The text is said in the British colony of Nigeria in the 1930s and 1940s. It is a story of second chance. Unu Ego escapes the trouble of childless marriage. She flees the city of Lagos to start afresh with a second husband. It also tells a strategic story of Unu Ego, the daughter of Mokocha Agbadi, an owner. She had a bad fate. Now, and this is also an extension of uh, female manipulation, female exploitation meted on them by the society, especially uh, as our people misinterpret the life of culture, where they bank on culture to deceive sorry, to maltreat women, taking women as second-class citizens. The state of women in our society has become a worrisome because people misapply the tenets of life. No religion permits maltreatment of women, but especially the two major religions we observe in, in our society. The two religions give rights to women. So this issue, Joyce of Motherhood, uh, sorry, Butcher and Mechita try to x-ray how women suffer in the hands of their husbands, sometimes are constrained by culture with reference to no longer at this, when we be returned from a study, wanted to marry his lover Clara, or Clara. But uh, the society, the, the, uh, the society is telling him Clara is from a outcast family, therefore nobody should marry from that family. So Obi, you know, but Obi try to fight the cultural tenants by the bunking on their requests, or oh, sorry, on their submission. So under this text, we are going to look at team, uh, team of uh, women and femininity, men and masculinity, team of mortality, duty, education, traditional and custom, slavery, love, polygamy, predestination, and reincarnation, and other things that we can also, because in every text, there are major themes and there are minor themes, just the same as the characters. We have the major characters, we have the minor characters. But sometimes we see the central characters or central character, or sometimes we see the central theme. So these seven texts are uh, what we're going to look at in this semester, which as students, you don't rely 
on the text we are studying in the class you are at the liberty to go outside or extra mile in reading other texts that have uh, related themes because writer does not write in a vacuum in writing you must have what happened and the time that is why we said every writer must cover the four course of literature the people the society the event and the period so every writer writes on events that happen or event that happen and the period that that event happened so from time to time will be attending to you and uh, you are free to ask question you don't just read the text and accept that try to reflect on the text compare the story in the text to your own society that is literature because literature tends to inform educate enlighten and to some extent entertain so you have to read hard but before then you must make sure you have the text the text all the things we recommended for you are available available in our bookshops but where you find it difficult to locate one let us know so that we can work it out for you to get it uh, if such is not uh, affordable now we can make a replacement but all the things are available in the market or oh, sorry in our bookshops but be sure you get the right copies because some of you go to uh, pirated copies where some pages are missing some pages are not clear so try to get uh, a correct text and uh, not buying the text that matters but also reading and I will not take it easy with any student who failed to get the text they try within the little resources you have we are not compelling you to go and uh, look for money at every angle no the little you have tried to utilize them uh, try to utilize the resources for that because without the text in literature without the text you can get it clear especially that you have to read it before even coming to the class for discussion so thank you very much wish you all the best and that door is open anytime any moment you have question you are free to come or any discussion are not clear you are free to come one on one so that we do further so that everybody can get what is expected of you Thank you very much.